and so you know acids you know bases you know alkalis then we have to talk about hydrogen ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration and then your universal indicator and some other indicator and the pH scale so you have a pH scale so this pH scale is used to measure whether a solution is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. So if you look at the image, the diagram down there, it shows you a bunch of pH values. So it's from 0 to 14. And they gave you some examples of what, um, what substances are belong, be, belong to which pH value. Then there are some environmental effects yeah, that environmental effect is not tested, it's just for your knowledge purpose only. So, pH value starts from 0 to 14. 7 is neutral, which is this point. Then, 0 is the 0 to 6 is acidic, and then from 8. To 14 is basic or alkaline. So in at, at pH values which is zero, so this this point, the smaller the pH value, the higher the acid concentration. That means the higher the concentration of H plus ions. Then, if it's big number, the pH value is big. Yes. So the pH value is big. Then you have you'll be here. So that means they are alkaline. There's then, uh, they contain high amounts of hydroxide ions. They contain high amounts of hydroxide ions. So universal indicator also come in pH 0 to 14. It, it will give off different colors when it's in different pH. So the diagram here shows what color they have they are in at a certain pH value. So for example, from pH 0 to 4, it will be red color. Then from 5, it's the universal indicator is orange. Then six and six is yellow, then seven is green. So and so up and so forth, you see the bluish green and blue and purple. So you can match the pH value with of the with the color of the universal indicator. So the universal indicator kind of gives you the indication of what pH value the substance is. Need to remember. We have some other indicators that we use, which is like methyl orange, phenolphthalein, green methyl orange, and da, 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 da. So there are a few here. So we usually often use this, and this, sometimes with phenolphthalein. The, the chart is like this. In acidic solution, it will be this color, and in alkaline solution, it will be this color. So the methyl orange will be red color in acid and yellow color in alkaline solution. But you notice there's a, this number down here, pH range at which the indicator change color. So let me draw 0, 3 to 5, 14. So what happens is uh, it's red here from 0 to 3 is red and then here is our some uh, objection uh, some some very complicated color not red and not yellow it's a bit of mix so over here from 5 onwards is yellow so you might see that uh, the acid range is actually very small and the alkaline range is very big So then 
phenolphthalein, you also can draw the same chart and then it will show you that the color change later beyond the pH7. So every one of them have their own pH, uh, the range where they change color. This. So I have a question that here. They say the table below shows the colors of two indicators, metal orange and metal red. So this is some indicator from somewhere. Then they are used in labs to add different pH values. So then you have four solutions, PQRS. Okay. So metal orange will change color at pH around 4. So from pH 2 and pH 3, it's red, red color. Then 4, 5, 6 is yellow. So metal red is 2, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5 is red. And then 6 is yellow. So you have these two solutions. Then these two solutions, the question is, in which solution will both indicators be red? P and P. Okay. 